Ambulance, is the patient breathing? Is the patient awake? Okay, tell me exactly what happened. So I'm Tony Warsop and I've been an EMD at EMAS for just approaching six months. Yeah, I do enjoy it. Um, I find it challenging. Um, you know, it's still very new to me. I've only been here approaching six months. I'm still, I'm still learning, you know, every day's a school day, still, even though you're not in school. Um, but I'm enjoying it and that, that chance to sort of be that person on the end of the phone when someone's in dire straits and having the worst moment of their life and to be that first person that can calm them and reassure them and give them that help. Um, it's quite a, quite a privilege and quite a special feeling. Stand by, I'm just locating you now. Just confirm that address for me please so I know it's right. Mm. I've previously worked in the education sector for approximately 20 years. Um, been a primary school teacher. Um, worked my way up and became a head teacher, <coughs> then an executive head teacher over a couple of schools. Um, then was successful in that and went into school improvement and quality assurance for a multi academy trust. Um, was enjoying that, done it for a few years. Um, I think I became a bit disillusioned with the sector, if I'm, if I'm honest. Um, and just the way things worked. Um, and it always sort of, I guess I felt a bit trapped and thought, well, you know, I've got a a good job which I enjoy and I'm successful at but I'm not really enjoying anymore but you know I've got this mortgage to pay and the bills to pay and I earn a good salary so I began to feel a bit a bit trapped and then all of a sudden one day I just thought you know what there's, there's more to life um, you can sell your house um, you know follow a dream it's time to follow a dream now if you, if you don't do it now you know I was 40 if you don't do it now you never will do it um, so I, I did, I just thought I'm, I'm leaving that and I'm going to pursue this dream. And my dream was always to be a paramedic. Um, so I looked to the ambulance service um, and saw, saw the job for the AMD, uh, which I thought would be a really good way in, give me that sort of um, ground level experience of where the first calls come in and that first point of contact with the emergency service, which if I then decided to go into other avenues within the trust, the ambulance trust, that would stand me in good stead. So, so I applied, I went through it. Um, an interview and it was my first time of being on the other side of the interview table for a number of years but yeah I was successful and started the train in the end of October um, and really enjoyed it. Um, I think you know looking back on it now um, having that confidence that you can change the place you're at if, you, if you're a bit disillusioned and it's never too late um, and being brave enough to do it um, because a lot of the the skills and qualities are transferable you know, yes, education's got nothing to do with, with the health sector, but a lot of the skills of people um, um, are, you know, and I think being that bit older, that sort of wisdom and experience that comes with it, you know, life experience and dealing with people um, stands you in good stead as well.